what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is jenna palma and i do hair beauty vlogs lifestyle so today we're going to be talking about birth control so the birth control that i have been using lately is the nuva ring etanogestrel etanogestrel and ethano estradiol estradiol vaginal ring this is what the packaging looks like i'm just covering my information three comes in a pack but i already used one out of the three in this pack so let me just show you how they look before i get into any of the specs and details because i just want you guys to see um this is the packaging it comes in and i'm gonna open this one because i'm not using it so yeah and this is the ring very thin very squishy okay let's get on to the details that you came to this video for okay so I started this um, birth control in February like the last day I started like February 28th which was a Sunday so if you're going to start birth control they do suggest that you either start the last day of your period or a Sunday I started on February 28th so you keep it in for three Sundays and then on the fourth Sunday you're going to take it out and discard of it um the week that you discard of it and you take it out of your system that is going to be the week that your period comes so you, for me, when I took mine out, mine came Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Those are my three days that my period came. And my period usually does, was already lasting three days before I took um, birth control. So that's normal for me. But what wasn't normal for me is the amount that came out. So I'm gonna get into that. The fourth week is when you take it out, you get your period that week. And then the next Sunday, you're gonna put in a new one. So that is how you do that. I was very really excited to start basically because I'm just like, I've heard really good things about this or really good things about birth control in general. I've heard that it helps with acne, with uh, like fluctuating your weight. It helps with um, controlling your period, your period pains, all of that. So I was very excited to start and also i was excited because i didn't have to take a pill every day people that take the pill form of birth control you know you have to take it every single day same time every day and i'm not like that i'm not like i'm gonna forget i know i just know i'm gonna forget so i was just like this is perfect for me it's just a ring you literally forget about it like i literally forget about this until I, my reminder comes on i'm like oh shit i have birth control in. so this is perfect for people with terrible memory or people that just want to forget that they're having birth they have birth control in and stuff like that when i have my birth control in i don't feel it at all like i be i forget that it's even there that's how much i don't feel it because this is kind of like a rubber material it's not hard really it's like very flexible so when you put it in there it's kind of like a tampon but it's more you feel it less i feel like you feel it less than a tampon if you are sexually active um they say you don't feel it when you're having intercourse and because the way you put it in is you hold it like this if you use tampons then this should be fairly easy for you you just bend down squeeze it and then you insert it like a tampon uh, they say to push it as far up as possible into your vagina because it's supposed to be kind of touching your cervix which is the way into your uterus so yeah basically it's um releasing a bunch of hormones into that area and 
that is how the pill actually works so this is just doing it in a different way but let's get into all the details so that first time that i took it i didn't really feel any different i didn't have any different like thoughts or just like anything really it was just me like i was excited to take it so i'm just like like i was normal i basically was normal the first month that i took it month two that i took it that is end of march beginning of april i still felt pretty normal this is probably where the beginning signs started to happen of me becoming moody and becoming a little more like sharp at people or getting more anxious like i got really impatient well i am really impatient in some ways but like i was very impatient this is the beginning like this is the beginning it caused me to have um very little affection towards my boyfriend and basically it gave me like no desire to do anything like it made me i just didn't want to be touched i didn't want to be kissed i didn't want to be anything like literally he would look at me sometimes or like want to kiss or want to be affectionate and i'm just like bro like get away from me <laughs> like, it was so bad i didn't notice it actually like when i'm looking back at it and like thinking about all the things like people were saying to me or like my boyfriend was saying to me basically I'm like, damn, I was actually kind of acting a little weird, but I just, I looked over it. I didn't, I didn't connect the two. I didn't connect the birth control with that at all. So I'm just like, it, it, it's not, it's, it's just, it's my period. Like my period, I basically blamed it on my period. Like my period just came, it's going to go away. Boom. All right. Month three of taking it, I actually forgot to put it in on one of the sundays and i put it in two days late i was supposed to put it in april 25th and i put it in on april 27th if you forget to put it in put it in as soon as you remember so that's what i did and i didn't really it wasn't that big of a deal like if you forget to put it in just put it in as soon as you remember it's only been two days so i was chilling but yeah this month the third month definitely i was very this is when i started becoming very 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 moody depressed sad and at first i didn't really know what was going on i didn't know why i was like sometimes or most of the time i didn't want to do anything i was so sad like i felt so down in the dumps it was very discouraging i felt unmotivated to film i felt all types like it was bad like i had a feeling it was the birth control but i'm in my head like you think it's just gonna go away it's just gonna go away and it's not gonna go away so um i was just like yo this is bad <laughs> i feel like i was very like not fun to be around like i was just it was bad like, it made me so emotional i used to cry all the time everything made me sad <laughs> literally everything made me sad everything made me cry it was bad i didn't like it i took it for one more month so that's four months because i'm just thinking like yo i just st well actually the reason why i took it for the fourth month is because i got a new pack and i'm just like am i really gonna waste this pack or like should, i should just use it but no if you're feeling terrible if you're feeling depressed if you're feeling sad do not just use it don't don't do it like just throw it out or don't throw it out but like discard of it properly if that's causing you the pain that you feel or like the sadness that you feel don't keep using it that doesn't make any sense so but i used it for a fourth time and that was probably the lowest i got like i was so depressed it probably to like the people that follow me or the people that um are around me they probably don't notice that i'm like sad or something because i i'm not the type to like show it 
like on the exterior you never know what someone is going through until you pull through the layers and actually see it for yourself so i was going through a lot but i kind of just masked it and try to act like i wasn't and that's not healthy i don't suggest anyone do that i was on the birth control during my birthday and as you guys know i did go to um florida with my boyfriend for my birthday and i was just I, I was happy like i was happy to be there and to be with him because i haven't seen him but in like after every event i just i was just sad like i just didn't want to be like i wanted to be, it's weird like i wanted to be there with him but i was just at the same time there's like this dark cloud behind me that's just pulling me down and that's horrible like if it's your birthday you should not feel that way so that's when i was like yeah i need to get off of this that's when i really was just like yeah i'm not doing this again uh this is my last i think my last was may the week of my birthday that sunday i put a new one in so i had to go through my birthday and which is the rest of may and some of june uh, they don't suggest you take them out in the middle of a, of one of these cycles because you don't really know how your body's going to react to that today is june 26 i haven't had it in for about two weeks and i do feel better i do feel more, like it definitely was the birth control because last week is the week i did get my period and this week is the week i'm supposed to have a new one in and i don't have it in and i definitely feel so much better i do feel like my spirits are higher and this was the devil to me like this is not a video to discourage you from doing the maneuvering this is just a video of you of me telling you guys my experience because everyone reacts differently everyone doesn't like have the same symptoms someone like me who responded very negatively is not necessarily gonna mean you're gonna respond very negatively i also have a friend that is taking birth control as well but she's on the pill and she also says that she had a depressed a depression phase or she was very sad because of the birth control so it's not just the rings it's any form i feel like those are the cons but let me tell you let me tell you about the fucking pros bro let me tell you about the motherfucking pros because you're gonna be like you're gonna look at the cons and be like mm, i could i could i could i could deal with it i could deal with it but nah don't deal with it let me tell you about the pros well for me using the nuvering my birth control basically decreased my blood output by like 75 percent or even like i could say by 90 percent probably like oh, oh uh -uh. but when i was on my birth control my period literally was like non-existent and when i tell you that is so amazing to have like i usually have a very heavy 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 period i use tampons <laughs> when i am on my period and i usually use ultra which is i think the yeah ultra is the biggest size and i go through a bunch of them so that's could tell you how like much i bleed on my period but when i was on this thing right here this little devil right here when i was on this little thing right here i literally did not really bleed at all i probably used one regular tampon not ultra but a regular size and that didn't even saturate and after I took that out, I just used like a pad and nothing really came out. Bro, I was so happy. Like literally, I was so happy. Oh, and another thing that I actually forgot to tell you that is a con. This birth control helped me with my heavy flow. 
but with decreasing the heavy flow it increased my anal cramps <laughs> and I don't really even know how else to say it like my anal cramps got so intense like they're crazy now if you're a girl you know that with your period you have vaginal cramps they're usually in your abdominal area and they hurt really bad but you also know that sometimes you get these cramps on the back side which on your in, on your anus basically and those are like sharp shooters like those cramps feel like you're getting like I don't even know how to describe it like it feels like stab wounds on your anus basically I used to get those randomly throughout my period when I wasn't on birth control but now that I'm on birth control the vaginal cramps switched out for anal cramps and I don't get any vaginal cramps but the anal cramps is literally the intensity of a vaginal cramp and the longevity which makes no sense to me like I literally be in my bed and the cramp that should be a vaginal cramp would come as an anal cramp and it would last for so long and be so painful and it's so bad like yo those really got me tight like yes my blood flow is low and as low as possibly could it be but is it really worth it if I'm going to be freaking getting these anal cramps and being depressed like it's not worth it it's not worth it it's not the last two times I've had my birth control put in and out I've had acrylic nails on and they were long and let me tell you don't do it don't motherfucking do it because it's not worth it and it's a hassle to take out the last time I literally just broke my nail and took it out but the first time I think I used my thumb <laughs> like you gotta take out um take it out with my index but I had to use my thumb because my nail curved like that and I basically was like had to like go in there and just like it was bad like it took me probably 30 minutes to to get it out but yeah that's just another tip yeah, those are my pros and my cons another video might tell you their pros and their cons but it's up to you to decide what you want to do to your body because it is your body everyone is not going to react the same and i just wanted you guys to hear my experience just in case you experience this while you're taking it you don't feel alone because i feel like it's common this is my experience and how it affected me so what is going to affect me may not always affect someone else so take it and you know weigh your options see if you want to do it or not if you guys have any questions or if you want to know anything more or have any specific questions about what i spoke about today make sure to leave a comment down below so that i could get back to you as soon as possible if you like this video or if you want to see more of me make sure to subscribe to my channel subscribe 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 i don't even know why you guys are watching this video and you're not even subscribed huh make sure to subscribe like the video share the video comment leave any type of comment if you even want to like hi bye say anything i love you guys make sure to watch my other videos if you'd like and uh i'll see you guys in the next